Dementia is cruel, dementia is... Absolutely devastating. Just baffling. It's like a parasite. Frustrating, just knowing that this is not going to get any better. Heartbreaking. The hardest part of all of this has been not having my wife. We don't have the same discussions as we'd have before. Uh, we don't have the same engagement in life that we would do together before. We dance a lot as well, actually. It would be so nice for him to just call you by name, but um, that wasn't to be. He probably didn't even remember I was his wife, but he knew he loved me. I was his safety blanket. Till the day he died, he never realised he had Alzheimer's dementia. She's just not the person that I expected to be sitting with, really the shell of an individual that I used to know. I miss this bubbly, capable person who was uh, my wife, the person that I loved, and my, my best teammate. She's lost some sort of essential kernel of self-care. It's just not there anymore. Unfortunately, so many people with dementia who were basically trapped in themselves. It is like you know you're walking in a fog, and trying to trying your trying to get out of the fog, and trying to find the direction. People stop inviting you to, to places. Your outside life sort of disappears. My whole world just got smaller and smaller and smaller, and and that put great strain on me. There's no planning for the future, really. Um, in a way. In a way, I don't want the future to happen because the future is not good. So now I only plan really for the next six months. I suppose many of us would want to be able to grow old with someone and I'm not sure that's going to happen. So that's going to be tough. Some days you come in and, and she's got, you know, three pairs of trousers. I have no clue how she managed to get three pairs of trousers on the other day. That's possibly me in the next 20 years. It, was, it would have been very easy for me to say, no, I don't suffer with dementia and, and ignore it. But I can't do the activities that I used to do. We used to do a lot of traveling. Now I can't leave the house. You know, one minute somebody can do something, one minute they can't. One minute they recognize someone, the next minute they haven't got a clue who that person is. So as long as I can make her smile, then it, then it's, it means a huge amount she becomes very uninhibited. So that means if we're out in, in, in a social environment or in a restaurant or, or, or a coffee shop or something, she can say some pretty, pretty inappropriate things. I mean, you could get frustrated, but you, you sort of have to laugh and have to, have to enjoy them. When you are with other people who understand, you don't have to apologize. Having five children is an asset. So if one gets fed up with me, I go to the other one. I'm not lonely, but I'm alone. It was so painful being the one that had to agree with the doctor that it was time to go into a care home. It just felt so unfair. In the early days, I did stress. There were days when, when I did lose control. Sometimes I find myself losing my patience. And that's, um, as a child, you're not supposed to do that with your parents but I don't have my mum anymore. Unless you care for someone with it, it's just very hard to understand.